the second half? Um, I mean, they just made adjustments, came out, and just made their adjustments, I guess. I mean, um, we just got to keep playing hard. I mean, one thing about our defense is we never quit. We're not going to stop. We just, they were just fortunate enough to get big plays on us, and we just got to learn from it and do whatever we can to make sure it doesn't happen again. Your team played a picture of perfect first half. Did you guys get tired at that time, coming out of the third and fourth quarter? Um, I don't think we were tired. Um, I think they just, they just came out and they were going, and we weren't we weren't right away. And um, that's just something that we need to change and just get right after and get ready for um, Pittsburgh. How do you build up a loss like this? Um, we'll come in, we'll watch a film, and just whatever our mistakes are, learn from them and make sure that we fix them for next week. When you came into the locker room, what was the feeling? You're up 10, did you think maybe it should be more than that? Um, I mean, you, you could always what if, what if, but there's no point in really doing that. I mean, um, we came in, everybody had high energy, we were all focused, we were all ready, and just things just didn't play out the way that we wanted them to. Tyler, what did you guys talk about doing differently at halftime and second half on defense? Um, we, did, we just needed to fix like some things on the run. I mean, they, like I said, they just capitalized off our mistakes. We gave them too many big plays, and uh, that's on us. That's not, not on anybody else but the defense. And, so we just need to f make sure we fix it and get ready for next week. On an energy level, did you guys? Do you think you guys came out flat in the second half? Um, I don't think we came out flat. I just think that they came out ready to go, and they just took advantage of their opportunities and made big plays. Was it hard to come back after those first two drives that they come down the field, 80, 90-yard drive? Um, no, I don't think so. I mean, our defense isn't going to quit. We're just going to keep playing. At each play is a new place. So we're just going to keep going and going after it. And like I said, they were just fortunate enough to make the big plays. The media didn't find out that Vaughn was going to be missing this game up until kickoff. When did you guys find out? Were you preparing all week without Vaughn? Uh, yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's definitely... Definitely a big loss. He's a leader of our defense. I mean, back there, it's, it's tough to pass on him. With, so that was definitely a big blow to our defense. But I mean, we have we have all the right players in at the right time. So I mean, we just need to make some plays, and we just didn't make. Them. How do you think the secondary did without him? Um, I think the secondary held their own. I mean, they just like I said, they just came out and just made plays, and we just didn't. So, I mean, it's definitely, it's just a learning experience. So we just got to take this, take the positive out of it, take the positive out of it, and just get ready for next week. When you came back in, what was the feeling? Was sort of like a shell shock? I mean, um, totally different than when you went out for the third? And no, there, there wasn't, wasn't a different feeling. I mean, we knew we could hang with this team, and we know what our team's capable of. And we know we're not going to quit. We're going to keep fighting and doing whatever we possibly can to When you just win. came back in after the game, I mean. Oh, when we came back in after I mean, the game. Were you like in, in disbelief of what just happened? Um, a little bit. I mean, we just we just need to make plays. And big key is our defense. We just need to step up as a unit. And everyone just needs to stick to their assignments and just do our jobs. I mean, you guys are 